Hey, Brian, what's happening, man? What's happening? Let's take the Royce, take the Hogan. Man, sorry it took me a little while to get over here. I was uh, finishing up talking to Jody. Jody? Mm hmm. How's she done? She's a little upset. About what? Yeah, that's what we're here talking about. She's a little upset. Um, I will tell you that she, I'm trying to remember her exact words, but it was more along the lines of, I don't want to tell him, I don't want him to be scared and uh, and to talk to us. Anything else on along that? Because I want to, I want to go talk to him. I said, I can't let you do that. I said, I may be able to let you do a recorded statement or write a note, but. So that you do one now? I have a recording. I also have another recording that I'd like of you as well. But I, I can't ask you any questions yet because you're in custody for something else. I don't know. I know it's some kind of double charge. I know you had some stuff there. So before I actually ask you anything or tell you or show you anything, I need to read you your rights. You had those read before, correct? No. You've never had your rights read? No. Okay. Let's go through that. I mean, when I was younger, yeah. Right. I mean, well, I mean you know what I'm talking yeah, about. I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Well, I'm going to go through this because, like I said, and I brought a picture of your kiddos. I get I gave her I gave her a picture of them too. Alright, before we ask any questions, you must understand your rights. You've got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Right to talk to a lawyer prior to any question you're making any statements. Have him present with you while you're being questioned. Can't afford to hire a lawyer. Won't be appointed by the court to represent you before any questioning if you desire one. You may stop the question or make any statements at any time by refusing to answer further or requesting to consult with an attorney prior to continuing with questioning or making statements. And those are your rights. And the second part of this uh, this form is just it's a waiver of your rights and it basically says I've, I've read the statement of my rights or I've had them read to me and I understand what my rights are and I'm willing to make a statement and answer some questions. I don't want a lawyer at this time and understand and know what I'm doing. No promises or threats have been made to me and no pressure or coercion of any kind has been used against me. You understand what coercion means, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing you might have an idea of what, you don't have an idea of what, what uh -huh. you might want to talk to me about or what I want to talk to you about. Okay. And, and it has to do with the apartment you guys used to live over on Shelby Street. Oh, well, yeah. Man. Does, does that ring a bell yeah. in that incident? Okay. What do you know about that incident? As far as I know, they was, that was supposed to have been us, as far as my understanding. Mm -hmm. Because the guy, Terry Payne, that, uh, he was supposed to send somebody over to talk to us or something like that. I don't know. Because, they used to have deals. Well, I mean, I know the guy too. You know, they used to have dealings or some something like that. And I'm not even sure if it's him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going by what I've heard. Um, that he got ripped off for some dope a few times. He got upset about it, and the only reason why he wouldn't come confront her by herself, you know what I'm saying, because of me. Well, she never ripped him off for no dope anyways. It wasn't her. You know, it was... So this was, it was geared towards Jody, is what you're telling me. Yes. And as far as I know that somebody was supposed to send some people from Chicago, some black dudes, said it's not about the money now, it's not about the dope, it's about the principle. And he, Terry Payne, told me this. And I told him, I said, well, you better go back and tell them, you're right, it's not about no money, it's not about no principal. If anybody comes fucking around with my, my fiance, then that pulls me, you know what I'm saying? I'm involved. And he said, well, it's already too late. The, the call's been made, and that uh, some people from, what do you say? New Orleans or something like that. Fucking Louisiana is up here looking for it. And that's when I noticed that it started being followed. And I'm like, hold up, you know, maybe this shit's true. But I've been thinking it's all 
you know, you don't have people to talk to. You just try to scare somebody. And I kept noticing people follow me. And I kept noticing people follow me. And I'm like, hold the fuck up, hold it, you know. So I made a phone call and I was like, dude, what the fuck's going on? He said, man, I, he said, I told you. He said, I'll try to go talk to him. I said, dude, you better do more than try to go talk to him. And for the past, mm -hmm. I don't know, a month and a half, something like that, every time I walked out the door, I was being followed. And for the life of me, nobody believed me. I mean, <laughs> I told everybody, I said, man, somebody is following us. Somebody's following me or somebody's following you. Somebody. And then I got locked up. <laughs> what happened with that? Oh, little. That, <laughs> I'm not the dope police, so, you know, I just, it's, I mean, I heard you at the South End of the Tour, and, uh, yeah, I, I, mean, burn, but. I mean, not one time did nobody ever say police, nobody said, I mean, the whole time that I told everybody I was being followed, I mean, I'd let people run up on me, and, like, I'd take off, nobody ever said cops, you know. So I don't know if it's the cops or if it's them or whoever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit. So I've done what I know to do best, protect myself and get the hell out of that situation for a moment. But that situation, it was the same thing. Two cars whipped up on me. And then once I took off, yeah, he hit his lights. I'm like, you know, for, I got a set of them lights, which I do, you know what I'm saying? I got a flashlight that turns. You know what I'm saying? You click it one time and it says our flash is red, white, and I mean red, blue, and them lights, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, so nobody's ever said, stop police, this is the Louisville, this is the feds, this is the whoever, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I didn't stop, you know, even when we got back to the house we were staying at, not one time did anybody say police. It's police, it's whoever, blah, blah. They just told me to get the fuck down or they're going to blow my goddamn brains out. I'm like, well, uh, I'm, <laughs> there's a chance I got to take. Either they're the police, and then once they all started coming up on me, I noticed it was the police because I seen all the equipment and shit like that, you know, and I was like, well, maybe it's this cop, so I got down. Who, who all did you get arrested with that night? Me, Jody, uh, Lala, and Chris. Does Lala have a real name? Everybody keeps saying Lala, and I'm like, I don't know who she is. Because I'm not the dope police, but I'm just curious for my yeah, own. It's uh, Lord. I know it's Lord. Okay. I don't know okay. what I'm asking. It, it really doesn't matter for me. I'm just curious because yeah. everybody says Lala, and I'm like, okay, that's my name, Lala. I was on a, on a kid's TV show, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, let me take you back to that, that apartment on Shelby. How, how long did y'all stay there? Man, I, can't, I just got out of jail, and I don't know if she's had it before I went in, mm -hmm. or before, right before I got out, or what. I think it was only, I was on there like a couple of weeks, maybe, gotcha. something like that. Maybe a little longer. I know it's like between two, about two weeks. Two or three weeks, something, okay. something like that. And you guys never went back to that apartment. Yeah, we went back. You did. Yeah, we went back and got some of our stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd seen the landlord. Nothing was ever said. We'd seen cops sitting there. Nothing was ever said to us. I was thinking, well, this ain't got nothing to do with us. I hope. Did you know those neighbors that y'all talked to them? Y'all never, you ever saw them before? Yeah, we seen them. If I showed you a picture of them, would you know who they are? I'm pretty sure okay. it would be. Yeah, I think, yeah, that was her. Now the guy. Now this is a little bit older picture. I think he had probably just gotten out of jail and his hair may have been a lot longer. Mm, yeah, if you put long hair on okay. them, it looks like them. And y'all didn't have any interaction with them? No, nah, other than uh, I mean, passing the through the hallways or but it was just I think it was what one two 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 apartments? Yeah it's just two, two yeah. 
that's the front room. It was a like little storage or something like that. Right, right. And the back room was supposedly where he stored all this stuff for, I guess, the strip clubs that he owned or something. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he owns a couple strip clubs. You're right. All right. Um, what do you actually know about what happened over there? What have you heard? What do you know? I just heard that somebody got shot, shot, got killed, or something like that. And then we stayed away for a couple of days because that's when I found out that supposedly they was there for her and us, you know what I'm saying? They were supposed to be us. So I was like, you know, I'm, we made the decision we're going to stay away for a couple of days because. I mean, hell, if somebody wanted to talk to her, they planned or knew her phone number, knew her cell phone, knew her name, and everything else, but where to try to contact us. At least, as far as I know, nobody ever tried to contact us. Which, I mean, the house, the apartment wasn't even, it was her apartment, mm -hmm. wasn't in my name or nothing like that. So. Hmm. And you know there was two victims there? Did you know that? Not both of those two people I showed you. No, uh, it's just, they told me it was just uh, the lady. Well, both of them were shot. And uh, this is what I want to show you. He didn't die. Do you remember, do you know your neighbors that live in the store? Do you know who they were? If I showed you pictures of your neighbors, do you know who they were? Yeah. Were your neighbors involved in any of this? That's her. Is that Jody? Is that your neighbor? So, that's just the start of it. But okay, well, let's finish it. No, I've got a, I've got a couple follow-ups here. Okay. When I showed Jody this, she lost it. She lost it like ball and crying, broke down. You let me guess. Said that we done it. She did. Well, you know, and before, you know, and I'm going to tell you the same thing I told her. I said, you all have some important things in front of you. I said, bad things happen to good people. Sometimes people get put into situations and shit doesn't go as planned. Um, I believe that's what happened here. I don't believe there was malicious intent going in. I think shit escalated and went bad. And I told her I wanted to help her try to get to the good side of this to not paint her into a negative light on it. And I said, I. I told her, I said, I will give you that same opportunity and tell you the same things. And I've told you both the exact same things. And that's how I want to present it. I don't bullshit people. You know, I'll tell you what I got. I mean, fair enough. I mean, I've got a living victim who puts you there. I've got Jody who said you were there. Now I want to hear from you what in the world happened. Like I said, I think something went wrong. I don't think you got there on. I want to hear the rest of it, what Jody had to say. What Jody had to say? I don't have Jody on a video. But you said you had her on a. I have her on audio recording. I just did it. I don't have it on a disc yet. I still have it on an actual recorder. Can I hear it? I don't know. Let me see if I can do that. I don't even know if I can do that. I mean, it's on, it's on this recorder that's in my pocket right now, the same one that I 
have been on right now. Well, let's find out if we can do it. Because, I mean... Is that going to change what? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I want to... I'm not going to play bullshit. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not going to play it word for word so you can mirror your story off. Of your no, 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 I don't... I've been that. doing this a little yeah, longer. Yeah, I, I, I don't expect you to do that either. But I would do like to know what she's saying, what she's doing. Right, I can give you the answer. I can give you the details of or the, I guess the general of what she said is that and he goes on to say it as well, that they were involved in a domestic situation. They, apparently, you know, he might have been getting the best of her. She came over for help. The guys go back over to their apartment. It happened inside their apartment. Uh, he said, you guys intervened, honestly, on the good side of this to start with, trying to help her out, and things went bad from there. Does that sound, is, is that a fair statement of how things may have occurred? No. I mean... It's not. No, but I had no, yeah, I know these people. I don't know them personally. You know what I'm saying? I know from that apartment. And yes, we did go over there, but that's it. I mean, hell, if you fingerprint the place, you can find my fingerprints on a couple of things. This is where I walked in the room. Mm -hmm. I kind of picked some stuff up, you know, like I was laying everywhere. So I was like, you know, here. I mean, other than that. I know right now you're trying to figure out where to go with this because I don't want you to start digging yourself a hole. No, what y'all want me to do is commit, to, you know, saying. Oh, I don't need you. you. I don't need you to. I've got him and I've got Jody's statement. I've got enough to walk out of this room right now. What I'm trying to do is give you an opportunity to do the same thing that she did, which is go at it at the angle we were trying to help and things went bad. It's a whole lot better than we went just not giving a statement and me going off of him. I mean, you think if I put a guy who's paralyzed from the neck down on a ventilator with an interview like this, up to 12 people on a jury, they're not going to sympathize with him instead of you? I'll take that all day long, twice on Sunday. Wow. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, just, I'm, yeah, I'm a realist, yeah. you know, I'm a realist. I, I, so. I'm looking at it too, I'm like, yeah, I mean, as it stands right now, I mean, regardless of what I say, I'm fucked in this situation. And I'm trying to say that there is a little bit of an out here to make it better on you, to not make it look like, I don't believe you're a cold-blooded killer. No, I don't believe that at all. Nothing suggests that to me. I think you're a smart guy, and I think you got involved in a situation that you probably shouldn't have. Well, not to say you shouldn't, not that you shouldn't help somebody out, but I think shit went bad real quick. And I don't think you, anybody should be judged on just one thing alone. There's a whole series of events that happened here to get to basically where we are right now. And I just want you to, you know, Think about a lot of different things, and I know I'm throwing a lot at you at one time, you know, and I, I can't can't say I understand where you're at right now because I haven't been there, but I can empathize with you. I do this every time. What do you mean you do this every time? I always try to protect everybody. You shut that recorder off from that side and ask you a question. With this guy? Yeah. And the no. one in there. So I think that's been recorded, right? I don't know about this room because this is a corrections room, so I'd have to say, you know, I don't know. What happens if I go in? I mean, because I know the story there. You know what I'm saying? I know the whole thing. What happened? What was that? I'm guessing I just got an email because this is my actual work computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, look. How can I get Jody off of all this? I mean, 
I think I think she is the least culpable of of any, anything that happened. You know, I think she was just there, um, and what he says and what she says really jive in line with the support. They support each other in their statements. Um, but I mean, it's honestly just going through the story, and I think I know the story. If I told you the story, then would it sound anything like what I started it off as? A domestic thing that you guys got involved in. You end up in a fight with them, with a gun, it goes off, and I can't tell you any more than that because that's where, you know, is, by any chance, does that seem like a story that of what may have happened? Yeah. And see, we can work with that because the beginning part of it changes a lot. There's a difference between you going in and saying, I'm going to kill somebody, and you going in, I'm trying to help somebody, and then shit goes bad. There, that's way different things there that we're talking about. One's a whole lot better than the other. I mean, the end result was that, some, that people lost their lives, yes, but it's a whole lot different when it comes to talking to juries, talking about charges, you know, those type of things. That is, that is a night and day situation. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, like you say, y'all can paint me out to be the fucking wild man. I mean, as it stands right now, with just them two saying that shit, y'all got enough evidence to paint me on. And, and that's what I said. I'm not going to bullshit you. I told you that. I said I got enough right now. I can walk out of the room. But that's not what I want to do because I believe I'm getting everybody a fair shot at this. I've been doing this 18 years. You know, I, I don't bullshit when I talk to people. I don't play that old mind game where I run around in circles and we talk for six hours. I tell you what I got. I tell you how how good I you know I'm not gonna lie. If I, if I got something that's weak, I'm gonna you know be like, hey, this is what I got. Here's your chances, 50-50. This is not a 50-50 chance kind of thing right here. I'll tell you that. All right, so. Screw me all the way around. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to give you. I want you to see the how I'm trying to let you get out in front of it and tell your part of the story on it. And the only way I can smoke a cigarette. I think we can probably make that happen. We let her. We let her go down to the basement and smoke one. And come back and finish up the story. Cool. I think we can do that. Sit back for a minute, man. Let's see what we can work out for you. Look, uh, regardless of what happens, man, y'all can't. No, I, think, I mean, I, I think I know what you're trying to get out, and that's to me. You don't want anything to happen to Jody on this. Does that sound about right? Yeah. And I really think that's going to depend on a lot about what we talk about, what you tell me on this. I think I think I can minimize her involvement. Minimize it. Well, I mean, she is there. I mean, have you ever heard? Have you ever heard about uh, doing a bank robbery? Yeah. You're the you're the robber. You go in and rob the store. I'm just the driver. We both get in a car chase and get caught down the way. You know what charge did I get? Accessory. You know what charge you get? It's a robbery. Yeah. I still get in robbery. I mean, it, she's there with you. So she is a complicit. You know, she is complicit in this. And uh, not calling the. You know, she didn't. There was nothing done on her behalf to help or stay or call or anything. So that's that's her little bit of a problem, but her involvement is minimal. That's kind of she did. Tried to. What she tried to do? Tried to help. After they were shot? What did she do? I mean, 
this helps her. Talk to some other people. I know it's been bothering you. Everybody has said that you've been acting different. It's really been bothering you. So it's been noticeable to other people. And take that weight off. Throw it on me. Get it off your shoulder, man. I mean, you ain't gonna try hitting me with no fucking death penalty or nothing. No, there's no aggravating circumstances. try to get this done as quick as possible. Yeah. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I can't sit in that jail. I understand. Jody didn't have nothing to do with it. And she did try to get help in her. I mean, I even did try it with She said, uh, he's over beating him. So we walked over. We didn't even walk in the apartment at first. And uh, I was like, you know, what's going on? Y'all didn't even go over at first. She was like, we can go over and see if you this one. I said, yeah, you know, so I walked over. The dude was over, breaking shit, throwing shit, cussing her. All three of us were standing outside, even as the, the girl was standing outside, you know what I'm saying? I was like, well, just leave or come over here or do something, you know what I'm saying? Just, if you want to let the guy and call the cops. She went back inside, he grabbed hold of her or something like that, and that's, so he was like, you know, you got to help her, because I guess her deformity or something like that. So I walked in there and I separated them and this and that and that's when, to be honest with you, I don't even, I can't even remember if, how the gun came into play, for real. Well, we started uh, kind of wrestling around and the gun went off. again. I mean, that's How many times do you think it went off? Honestly, man, I don't even know. I was, I mean, I was, I 
blacked out or something like that. I don't know, man. It's like, I'm guessing two or three times, three, something like that. I remember hearing three gunshots. But do you remember which one you shot first? No, I still could. I don't. I mean, I was just I, I freaked out. I was like, man, what the fuck? I came over to help somebody. This shit happens. And I think the. I know it went off once. I'm thinking C got hit first. I'm not for sure. And then. I mean, it was still struggling, and it went off again. I do remember it, and that's when he fell on the bed, and I was, and I didn't, I mean, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I went over, I didn't, like you said, there wasn't no intention of going over, no malice intended or nothing like that, you know. Do you remember what about what time? I mean, I know this happened on Friday the thirteenth. It's when we were there, and it was later in the afternoon when we got there. But when do you think this might have happened? Was it on that Friday? Because if I'm not mistaken, she was supposed to start that new job Friday morning at noon. Does that sound right? Or do you know that? I don't Jody knew that. That's why I didn't. I don't know. Okay. I mean. And after it was all done and everything, I, I, I might have heard Jody say something about she was supposed to start a job today or something like that. And I was like, man, what the fuck, man? I would have that. I mean, you know, we was both like, you know, what do we do? Didn't even one of us know what to do. She was like, Let's call the cops. I mean, let's. I mean, because like you said, I mean, we went over our intentions of helping, not hurting somebody, you know. And she never, Jody never entered the apartment whatsoever, as far as I know of. You know. She told me that she did. She said that she got. She didn't go into the room that you guys were in, which is the back bedroom, but she said she made it into a part of it. But you said she tried to help him. Afterwards, so I mean, she was like, I mean, if she, it doesn't matter to me if she came in. That's you're attempting to her. If she came in, that's fine. It's not that doesn't get you in trouble. That makes you a normal human being that wants to come in and maybe try to help. Yeah, I mean, we was both. You know, saying she was like, you know, saying. Well, actually, I was kind of like, I was standing there, and I turned around and looked at her at the door, and I was like, well, what do I do? You know, because so I was, I didn't know. And I still, I mean, until this day, I still can't tell you exactly from start to finish what happened, you know what I'm saying? I just know that. I was the one standing in the room while both of them was playing there. And Jody was like, you know, are you, you know, chatting with some party? Are they still breathing? Are they whatever? You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I don't know what, I mean, what do, how do you check to see if somebody's, you know, I don't know what they said. in that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do know that I, I'm not for sure if the landlord called, or if Jody called the landlord, or what, I'm not for sure. But I did, I do remember hearing her say the landlord called, or the landlord's wife or something like that, saying something about she's gonna come by and cop some dope from him or something. I'm like, fuck, that's even great now. Now we're gonna look like we fucking went there to rob him or something, which of that wasn't the case. I mean, nothing was took, nothing like that. And I was like, man, boy, I just, I just didn't know what to do. I mean, I still don't know what to do. 
I mean, I don't know. What happened to the gun? What did you do with the gun? Destroyed it. Melted it down. You melted it down. How'd you do that? I mean, that takes a lot of heat. Yeah, I know. And it, well, actually, the gun didn't get melted down. It got took apart in the barrel that melted down. I was like, man, I don't. So I gave the gun back to the person that I owned, that owned it, you know what I'm saying? He just let me borrow it. And I can't tell you his name, man, because I don't want to get him. So did you destroy it or did you give it back to the guy? No, I took it apart. Most of the gun went back. I mean, don't yeah. bullshit me. I mean, it's not, this is not a, that's not a big issue there. I, I'm just trying, my main thing honestly is, well, yeah, I would like, like to recover it, but I just want to make sure you just didn't toss it somewhere and some kid find it. That's oh, more no, what no, I'm worried yeah, about. Yeah, I made sure that, yeah, I made sure there wasn't no kid or no innocent bystander or nothing like that was going on. Kind of did. Picked up. I mean, yeah. What, what model was it? Uh, well, I know what caliber it was. I'm just wondering what model it was. Taurus, I think, mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, I think it was a Taurus. I'm pretty sure it was a Taurus 40. And, and you know, I know it was a 40, but I knew. I'm just curious. And, I mean, honestly, I tried blocking it out, but you can't block something like that out, man. And if you try to, it's going to eventually come back out and it's going to eat and eat and eat. And I, I mean, I can tell how upset you are. there with you guys? Nobody else. Right. Did you have the gun on you when you first went over there? Is this a, I went back and got it, or do you have it on you when you first went over there? Well, I had it on me okay. because the situation that fucking everybody was saying that people was out looking for her and this and that, and I was like, I got so I kept it on me just for her protection, you know, I wasn't going to let I understand. Now, did you all, you said you didn't take anything from the scene at all? No. Did y'all leave anything or by any chance? Did y'all lose anything? I don't know. Honestly, I don't okay. know. I mean, I didn't even try fucking finding the shells that came out of the gun. I was just like, you know, I was Dumbfounded. Pretty much. Um, I know. I know this happened in the back bedroom. Were they fighting in the back bedroom, and you got in the middle of it, or did you know you're trying to? You and him got in a fight in the back bedroom. I just want to be clear about it. Well, they was fighting. First, I mean, we was all standing outside in the hallway. And we're talking about a physical fight, not arguing. Yeah, they were talking about physical fight. And I was like, you know, that's when Joey said, Brian, you got help her. You know, that's when I went, went in there. And then everything just happened so fast. And we were on the rest. But, I mean, she, she did 
try to help him. I mean, I I didn't know what to do to help him. I mean, I just I freaked out. I still freak out. I'll tell you what, this whole thing, this whole situation, I mean, it sucks. And, uh, it, it, I mean, I was right. Was I not right from the minute I came in here and, and how things went down? Um, yeah. You know, and I still believe, you know, bad shit happens to good people all the time. But uh, this series of events doesn't paint you out to be a cold-blooded, calculated, I don't give a fuck killer. I mean, shit happen yeah there's nothing we can do about that now but the way that we have presented it as you coming over to help you know there's a big difference it, I mean correct me if I'm wrong but do you see a big difference between somebody who doesn't give a fuck and coming over there and, and, and just shoot people as opposed to someone who was there for a purpose and I can confirm that purpose was there was a domestic fight going on and you get over there and shit goes bad yeah there's a big difference there sooner than it would have been if you'd have told me, no, nah, I'm not talking to Mark out of the room. I mean, it could have happened either way, and man, I still had enough, you know? Yeah. So that's why I really, I could, I would, that was what I was really worried about, is that you wouldn't understand how important of a chance that I was trying to give you to, to get out. I mean, that you were in a hole. I mean, then you're still in a hole, but it's definitely not as deep as it was. With, it, with your story out there. And it goes a long way with prosecutors and defense attorneys and judges and jurors. So we got to look at it as it's a bump in your road. That bump was sitting back on the back side and you hadn't crossed it yet. Now we're crossed it. Now we're going to figure out from here where we're going to go. And you're going to get your life back on track. And that's only a good plan here. It's not what I've Well, no. nothing but future in front of you now. You know me wrong. We're going to take a little bit of it here, but it ain't all of it. And what you do with the rest of it is up to you. Well, I'll never see it daylight again. Well, see, people I talk to have heard you say that, and I disagree with that. You gotta remember where we are. We're in Louisville here. Jefferson County tends to be a little bit more lenient, a little bit more liberal here. I hope so. And, and you've done yourself big time favors here. You know, you've done you've done the best you can for yourself with the situation you're in. talk to the corrections people, make sure they know about everything. Any questions you have of me right now? Do you have anything? Okay. All right, sit tight. Back with you in a few minutes.